We put in an outdoor sump pump system to take care of the water that's shedding off a deck and off a back patio. This yard was swampy. This is a forced walkout. Look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful. The work that the men did here, they put down all that inch and a half cobblestone for erosion control. The other pipe that you see is for a downspout. This just goes off and it just dissipates into a woods. The men did a great job clearing out vegetation. This has been in a couple of months. What a beautiful job. They got critter guards in here. So no rodents can build nests during the drought season. This has been running. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of thunderstorms. This has been a really good test for all of our systems. I'm doing a wellness check on all of our systems because now we're at four inches of rain. This is a lot of rain for Michigan. We build all of our systems to withstand hurricanes. If you're building these systems in Florida, you're gonna to wanna to build them the way we do. We did an open French drain around this outdoor living space. I have the full video to the full install. Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. We have a flat backyard with no slope. So many times, builders and developers sell lots for walkout basements. They get a premium when they charge you for a walkout lot. The unfortunate part is so many walkout basements are built on lots that maybe should not have been a walkout. So we have a sump pump system with a lot of added chamber, and we're really deep. I'm going to take you through this system, explain to you everything, including how to hook up that outdoor sump pump system and how it all goes together. Water was trapped between the sidewalk and the foundation of the home. This is a walkout basement. You have all the water running off the high ground and it just laid here behind this house. We're running two French drains, one along the home and one following this hardscape. There was a lot of slope put on this system. We used our laser transit so that we can make sure the bottom of this trench has slope going all the way to the other side of the yard to the outdoor sump pump system. We have drain tile, both sides of the walk, under the walk, around this outdoor living space. This is a forest walkout. This is a cheater patio. Let me show you what I mean. Right here. Most cheater patios, this whole level would be at the basement floor level and then it would be angled away and then there would be some sort of retainment that's usually how we do forced walkouts when we build our cheater patios so there is a drain right here when the cement guys did the work they went ahead and put a drain in there that wasn't it wasn't needed. You can see there really isn't there really isn't any water to speak of finding its way down there. So we have the downspout and the downspout line runs out to the woods. That's why there's two pipes out there. We have an outdoor sump pump system. We did not do the electrical here. The homeowner did that himself. The water just laid trapped in this flat yard. It went nowhere. So we built an outdoor sump pump system to collect all that water to dry it out. Homeowner was telling me when I walked back here, he seen me walking back here, he said, man, it works great, we're so happy. The um, generator. Okay. And immediately pick up, we can go and see it. All right, great. Happy. You're happy? Yeah, we, I hope it works. When at freezing temperatures, when the ground is frozen. No problem. We got a heater in there. Yes. You're all so, set. Even if the ground is frozen, the, uh, the water will still go, get through it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank Have you.
this was a real problem for him. He was trying to fix it himself. He was looking into fixing it himself. They had done quite a bit of work. They filled in a lot of low points. They thought bringing more dirt in was going to solve it. It didn't. You know, it made it worse, actually. Just another quality job done by the French Drain Man team. This is why we always have three months minimum of work out in front of us right here. Results like this. Look at this non-permeable surface. All the water's hitting this non-permeable you know, concrete, just running off. This used to be just a muddy, swampy mess. No slope. Couldn't get it out of here. Guys did a really nice job. So we're grabbing up all the water, all the sheet water that's coming off the deck, coming off the roof. Rooftop is a non-permeable surface. The deck is same thing. You're going to have all the water shedding right here to the drip line of the deck and where the concrete ends. We have a massive collection system in here. This is a really big French drain system. The type of French drain that we're going to build is an open French drain. What an open French drain is, it's when you don't grow grass over top of it. We're going to have a fully encapsulated French drain system, and we are going to protect it with non-woven geotextile filter fabric that has been double punched. And then we're going to put more stone on top of the fabric Nothing takes in water faster than an open French drain. We just had close to four inches of rain. It's nice and clean. I was just checking for leaves. This time of year, we typically don't see too much debris in our leaf filters. So the discharge line ran out to the woods. We're able to lift all that water, pick up all that water, Take it way out here. So to cut down on erosion, now you can see the guys did such a nice job. This is beautiful work. Such nice work. They had to clear a lot of vegetation. You know, look at this. They put down a bunch of riprap, so this cuts down on erosion. You know, riprap is just any large stone, really. Always go to four inch pipe at the end of your discharge line. Go from inch and a half or two inch to a four inch pipe. It just mellows the water right out. The water's not angry, it's not aggressive, it's not going to cause erosion. Look at that, that is just absolutely beautiful. The work that the men did here, they put down all that inch and a half cobblestone for erosion control. We have four pipes and we're still deep. We could have put eight pipes in this trench. Right here, we're four pipes deep, and we filled that all with stone. We have really big round rock on this job, inch and a half round rock. This home has the large three by four gutter downspouts. They really are responsible for a lot of water. So we have our three by four leaf filter because we want to make sure we don't have any clogs. We have a solid pipe with a catch basin to catch the shingle gravel. And that's just for that downspout that's responsible for a lot of water across the back of the house. We have the perforated pipe for the French drain system. As I always talk about in all my videos, water has such a hard time finding its way through turf grass. You need a lot of slope to get water to drain through turf grass. Turf grass just hangs water up. Well, there's not a lot of slope. So what we're going to do is we're going to give the water a place to go. We're going to build this French drain. The water is going to fall right inside the French drain because it's so permeable. And it's going to go right to this outdoor sump pump system. We're then going to be able to lift the water up. And then at the surface, we'll have a discharge line that we can take out into the backwoods.
This system grabs surface water and subsurface water around this home. Then it lifts it with a sump pump system, gets it almost up to grade, if you will, and then slopes it away into the woods. That's what an outdoor sump pump system does for you. We dewatered around this home. Nothing works faster at grabbing up surface water than an open French drain when you're building a French drain. The only way you're going to take in surface water as fast as you do with an open French drain is if you use catch basins. And we don't need catch basins because this is like having one giant channel drain around this outdoor living space and around the back of the house. Nothing's more permeable than an open French drain with large round on it. The water's going to fall right through. There's nothing to hang water up. No soil. No turf grass with a, a root mat. Nothing grabs up water like an open French drain. All right, so right here I'm going to show you all the connections, what the crew did, what the men did. And this is beautiful, by the way. So this one blue pipe you see coming out of the fabric, that's a solid downspout pipe that we were able to gravity drain. We don't want to put all that stress on the pump. And then we have another corrugated pipe where we hooked our discharge line up to. Never use small rock around your outdoor sump pump system. It'll find its way through these holes. Those inlets will take in the small rock, and it'll do damage to your sump pump. So always use that inch and a half rock, inch and a half, two inch rock around your outdoor sump pump system. Now right here, look at this discharge line. Go to a four inch corrugated. That's really cool. We actually sell that in our online store. Makes it super easy for the DIYer to hook it up. Real quick run through here. All the perforated pipes are at the bottom, and they're just laying in the sump pump pit. Don't have to hook them up. We got one pipe for a gravity drain for the downspout. We have another pipe for the discharge for the outdoor sump pump system. When you use this technique from an inch and a half Schedule 40 to a 4-inch corrugated pipe, you have to be going downhill. The 4-inch pipe displaces way too much water. You don't need a lot of slope when you go to a 4-inch pipe with your discharge line. It displaces so much area that it's not going to hold up the water if you don't have very much slope. And this is only a one-third horsepower sump pump, which we use for 90% of our installs because I don't want the water to be violent. I don't want to add to the erosion. I'm going to fill the entire sump pump pit with stone. Don't put any dirt in. Don't put any dirt back. Don't try to skimp on the stone. You're going to have to put in a lot of stone. You can see we were about four feet deep. Look at all the stone we're putting in on top of all those pipes. We want to cover all the stone. We want to fully encapsulate the system. If you choose not to use a non-woven geotextile filter fabric, you're going to give your system an early expiration date at the time of installation. This is a really nice look. Natural stone, open French drain, bordering your outdoor living space. I really love it. Especially if you have like a woods or a park. You go with like a naturescape type look. This is really nice. I love natural stone. This is your make it or break it right here. All that hard work, all that money and material and labor. And if you don't get this discharge line right, the system does not work right. The system will fail. Pay close attention to the bottom of your trench with your laser transit. You're watching the best in the business right here. These guys, they've been doing it for years. They got thousands of jobs under their belt. Tradesmen. Craftsmen, they're meticulous. Their attention to detail, 
These guys get it right. When you want it done right the first time, use the very best materials as shown here and apply attention to detail to the bottom of your trench. Look at this. You can't even tell that all that excavation took place. It's beautiful. One good rain will clean the dust off the stone. Beautiful job. Meticulous work. Attention to detail. This system's going to stand the test of time. This is how you build an open French drain to last forever. Right here. If you have any questions regarding an open French drain system, or any questions regarding an outdoor sump pump system, leave them in the comments section and I'll be sure to answer them. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.